Hi everyone, this is Vincent. I'll be showing you how to add new user roles and give them different access to your company's resources and data. Right, so this is the dashboard of your company, a typical company. And you can see the dashboard tells you everything that's been going on in the company, like the activities, everything, everything. But there's no users that's been added to this um, account. So if you check, you see that no role has been added. If you check users, there's no user, right? It's always advisable to, to add your users first on your data room, right? So this place, I've added contacts. How did I add the contact? I just clicked on here and I add the contact. Or if you have a, an Excel sheet somewhere, you can you can add them to your contact by importing them. So I'm just going to add one so you see how I did my contact. Now, these are members of my team, right? And I'm adding the details here. Okay. Now you can add as much colon as you want if you want to add, um, you know, job row for instance, you can add it and then you can start saying this is admin assistant and just on and on up to, you know, this is HRM. So you have full control, this is your stuff, this is your company. So I haven't added these uh, fields. I'm going to my user role. I'm going to create a new user role. So I'll be creating like two, three user roles for us to see how it works. Um, first user role I'm creating is admin assistant. Admin assistant. I can write description optional, or I'll just give the admin assistant access to what I want him to access, right? And next, access to softwares. So there are two softwares that we use in our company and I'm giving the person access to all the softwares and giving him admin access to the softwares. So after that, I see the details, I choose to see it row, or if I if I want to make a correction, I can click on edit. So um, because I already have my team members on my data room, my contact, I'm going to assign to user straight away. So, um, John Brown is the admin assistant. So I'm going to add John Brown as the admin assistant and giving him access to this software. So immediately I, I pay, John Brown is going to have access to those things. He's going to have a login, He's going to be able to log into my company and have access to what I have given him access to, right? So just go ahead, make the payment and, and he gets that access. Now you don't have to wait for the payment. You can add as many user roles before you pay for all of them at once, right? So you will see now that admin assistant has been added and has been assigned to John Brown. Now it is free to add user roles. That's why we advise you can add, just create your user roles as many as you want to create down. And, you know, you give them access to items. Okay, as an HRM, you should have access to user roles. So I just, uh, yep. So, so it's, it's very intuitive. You just make sure that you don't make any mistake, but you can easily go back and correct them. So go back to roles. I want to add another user role. Um, okay, I want to add another user role. And this person is, IT support. No, let me make it accountant. Accountant and boom, accountant has access to the files and contacts. And accountant has access to the inventory and the budget app as admin level. And I'm saving this role. Okay, back to go. So you just create the user roles as much as you want, and then you can attach to users later. Okay, now John Brown has been sent an email. From there, you create a password and you have access, a login to this company. But we see only what I've given him access to see. You can come back to your roles and, you know, add, um, continue from where you stopped and just add the roles to, to a user and say, okay, now I want Mary Poppins on this. So Mary Poppins is HRM. And she gets, you know, I can just add as much as possible. 
I can add um maybe seven contacts, add Chris Evans. And let me select his role, his accountant, you know. And next, add another user and say, who else have I not added here? Uh, let me see, excuse me. Okay, so this person is an accountant, I'm select from the team. And Jane Foster is also an accountant. And I'm adding Jane Foster. So, and then I can play for everybody at once and have them on the rows. So complete the payment. And so, and then they have access to what we've given them. Yeah. So we'll go back to the user rules and you see all that we've done. You see all that we've done on, so yeah, all of them are gonna get emails and they're going to join my company and work with the tools that makes them efficient on their desk. All right, thank you very much. Yeah.